while powerful roaring jets zoom into the skies over Miami, here at the west end of the field there are hundreds of planes that sit almost as a living history book of American aviation during wartime. This B-25 twin-engine bomber saw action in the air war over Germany. It's similar to the bold planes that took Jimmy Doolittle off from the pitching decks of the USS Hornet to make the first airstrike on Japan. This plane has traveled around the world. Flags painted on its nose are a record of the journey. World War II pilots will remember this T-6 trainer. There are weeds growing up around its wheels now, but in its day it was an untethered, reliable plane used to educate our pilots for combat. A silvery B-17, an old flying fortress, sits on the parking ramp. This type of plane inspired the war song, Coming In on a Wing and a Prayer. It's still operational, seeing service long beyond its anticipated usefulness. There are more than a dozen Navy PBYs here. The old Catalina flying boat. It was built in 1936 and has been useful in war operations for patrol duty and in peacetime for rescue search. It's an amphibian and a popular aircraft for land developers in South America. These World War II transports are bound for the Congo in Africa. They are United Nations planes pressed into service again to aid the cause of peace. The Korean War is represented here. This squadron of F-86 Sabre Jets is bound for Venezuela. They're receiving their final checkout before delivery to Caracas. Saul Arudia from Air International Service Center says this shipment of planes is indicative of the importance of the west end of Miami's airport. The service is not available in South America and Latin America depends on Miami for major maintenance. The planes are here sitting almost as history books, but they managed to find their way back into the sky to help write history again.